G'day, 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 and welcome back to Kickstart. In this video, we are going to be plotting and publishing our shop drawings, saving them as a PDF for future use. As usual, I am the artist formerly known as Ludwig von Markerbaum, and let's kickstart our shop drawings into PDFs and printing and all the other fun stuff in between. Stay tuned. Alrighty, and here we are back in our Kickstart project. So as you can see on my screen, I have a shop drawing already set up. In fact, I've got two, one of them utilizing the view base command and another one utilizing my 2D drawings options within my Markerbelm toolbar. Now there's just one small little detail missing in my shop drawings, and that's this area right over here. You see, my title blocks are actually connected to not only my project properties, but also my global and my material files. So I can actually have this updated with information that I use in my project. How do I do that? Well, first of all, if you go over to our project tab and we go over to project properties, the very first page within my project properties is also called project properties. And this file over here is where you can put in information that can be populated into your shop drawings. As you can see up the top, I've already typed in that this is a Kickstart project. I can add a job phone number, something that allows me to contact, say, the customer, a job email and a job address, something for the installers if they need to know where they're going or who they're contacting, for example. Now, another place that we need to go to is this button over here, my room properties. And the room properties is connected to this particular block over here. As you can see, I can specify what my exterior material is gonna be, as well as my carcass material is gonna be, what kind of handles, draw systems, etc. So if I go over to my room properties, there are the corresponding fields within my title block. All I need to do here is rather than type in the information, right click, update database, and that information automatically populates my fields with the material that I'm using in this project, as well as what particular hardware in this particular field. So if I hit save and close, now that I've updated my room properties, I just now need to update my title block. And that button is situated right over here and doesn't need much else of a description, update title block. So I click on him. It's gonna ask me, well, it's gonna take a few moments. Are you sure I wanna continue? I'm gonna say, yes, please. It's also gonna let me know that some specific properties have been located, i.e. those room properties that I updated before. So it's gonna ask me, well, do you want them to update my blocks? And once again, I'm gonna say, yes, please. So we're gonna hit yes. We're gonna let those AutoCAD attributes link up with my properties. And you can see now down below, my Kickstart project has been updated and my materials have also been updated as well. And this is the same for each page as each page is using these same blocks. Alternatively, you can double click on a block and for that particular block, you can edit those particular fields yourself. This does overwrite the attributes that's linked to your project properties or to your room properties, but if it's something they just wanna get onto this particular block, by all means, edit it right in this field here. So now I've got information on my title block, now it's time to save it as a PDF. And there's two ways that we can do this. We can either plot or we can publish. We're gonna start with plot, and plot is pretty much saving a single page as a PDF. So say I want to save this particular page right over here. All I need to do is go up to this printer button up the top here to plot. If I click on that, you can see that within my printer plotter area, I can save this DWG as a PDF. If I click on this drop down list, if you have other devices connected such as printers, you can also send it directly to your printer as well. For now, I'm gonna leave it as DWG to PDF, and I'm gonna leave these options here, which I can obviously change if I want to change what kind of landscape, what kind of properties, I can do that through here. But I'm gonna first preview first, just to see how it's looking when I plot it. So I can see that there's my view base. If I zoom in a little bit, it does look a little bit thick, my lines. And this is normal if you don't adjust the line weights of your view base. 
However, there is a tick box that can help mitigate that. I'll just close down this preview over here. There's a particular tick box that you can untick for your view base line to become a bit more fresher. And that's this guy over here, plot object line weights. If I untick him, go back to my preview, and if I zoom into this view base, you can see that my lines are a lot more thinner, a lot more crisper as well. So I can close this. And yep, this I'm happy with. I'm happy with the preview. So now all I need to do is hit OK. And it's going to ask me where I would like to save my PDF. Now the plot is only for one page at a time. So if I was doing multiple pages, I would have multiple PDFs. However, that's where Publish comes in. Publish, you can save multiple PDFs as one PDF. So multiple pages in the one PDF. To do that, I'm just gonna, instead of clicking on the printer button over here, I'm gonna go over and type in Publish just below here. Hit Enter. And now what it's going to do is it's going to bring me to my Publish interface. And the first area we're going to shift our attention to is this list over here. And this list is a list of current drawings and current layouts that we have open at the moment. So you can see there's my model space. There's my different sheet layouts as well. Now, in order to publish, I need to have in this list the pages that I would like to save as a PDF. If I just go ahead and hit Publish, each of these pages over here, including the ones that we're not using, is going to save into my PDF, which is not what we want. So we need to get rid of the pages that we no longer want, just by simply clicking and highlighting. In this case, I'm just holding shift and pressing down on my arrows and hitting delete on my keyboard. Now for this example, I only want to have A301 and A302 in my PDF, because those are the two pieces of paper that I have shop drawings on. So the rest, I can simply erase. Go kaput. So there's my Kitchen A301 and my Kitchen A302. So now I just need to go to Publish 2, and I just need to save it as a PDF. As long as I have multi-sheet file selected, it's going to save it as one PDF with multiple pages within it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Publish. Select, I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And similar to my plot, it's going to ask me where I would like to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and select no because I don't want to save this current list of my sheets. Now it's just going to tell me that, yep, you're continuing in the background. So with that, I can see my little printer symbol down the bottom right over here, simply publishing away. So as he does that in the background, you can continue with other things. You can keep drawing, you can have a look at a few other things, and you can publish in the background. Just gotta hit OK on this login screen that appears. This sometimes happens when you are publishing in the background. Just keep an eye out for that. And once the publish is done, you are gonna get a nice little bubble over here telling us, hey, good job, you've done it. Once we open where we saved it, we can now see multiple pages on our left-hand side. In fact, if we scroll down, we can see those two pages as well, instead of individual PDFs. And that's how we save our shop drawings to PDFs, how we send them to the printer, how we save them as one PDF with multiple sheets or separate PDFs for that matter. I hope you find this video as informative as I have had fun recording it. As usual, I am Ludwig from Markovolum, and as usual, thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves.